good day students last time we did countable and uncountable nouns in grammar and i hope you must have understood everything you must have also completed your assignment today we will do nouns gender now suppose i take up a table column a mother sister aunt grandmother then i take column b father brother uncle grandfather now you must have noticed that all the words in column a refer to female members of a family while the words in column b refer to male members of the family example king host lion so nouns that refer to humans or animals that are female are of the feminine gender and nouns that refer to humans or animals that are male are of the masculine gender <coughs> examples of masculine gender are king host lion and examples of feminine gender are queen hostess lioness so we have masculine gender feminine gender nouns that refer to both a male and a female are of the common gender example will be doctor teacher baby nouns that refer to non living things or a collection of living things like collective nouns are of the neuter gender like pen school arm now let's practice the forming of feminine let's uh, practice the uh, forming of feminine gender nouns a noun in masculine gender can be changed to feminine form for example by adding ess to the noun in masculine gender like count will become countess giant giantess hair heiress lion lioness priest priestess did you understand in some cases the spelling has to be changed slightly when forming the feminine gender by adding ess like actor is masculine it will be changed to actress which becomes feminine duke is masculine it changes to duchess emperor masculine changes to empress which is feminine tiger tigress master mistress then using an entirely different word to change it to the feminine gender like boy is masculine and the feminine will be girl so it becomes entirely different word then horse is mare the feminine of horse is mare gander is masculine it becomes geese which is feminine nephew masculine niece feminine changing a part of a compound word while keeping the other part unchanged like grandfather is masculine you know that it changes to grandmother so the father changes to mother while grand remains the same landlord is masculine changes to landlady which is feminine he goat becomes she goat peacock becomes peahen now there are some things uh, which you need to keep in mind ships and countries are denoted using the feminine gender like india is our motherland her sons and daughters bravely fight for her so india is categorized in the feminine gender nature is also commonly called mother nature and referred to using female pronouns on now you have to do some bit of matching like you have to match the nouns of masculine gender with the correct nouns of the feminine gender right 
Now, suppose it is husband. It will be matched with wife. Lord will be matched with lady. Bridegroom will be matched with bride. God will be matched with goddess. Waiter will be matched with waitress. Shepherd will be matched with shepherdess. Sir will be matched with madam. Baron will be matched with baroness. Son-in-law will be daughter-in-law. Prince will be princess. So these are all very interesting and easy. You must be doing a lot of reading and you know uh, how masculine becomes feminine. Then we come to some fill in the blanks with the opposite gender of the underlined nouns. So if the nouns are underlined, you have to write the opposite gender of the underlined noun. The host and the dash welcome the guests. The host and the hostess welcome the guests. My dash and great aunt live in Dehradun. My uncle and great aunt live in Dehradun. I was reading a story about a dash and a witch. I was reading a story about a wizard and a witch. Ladies and dash welcome to the show. Ladies and gents welcome to the show. Meet my dash and daughter. Hemant and Hema. Meet my son and daughter. Don't the bride and dash look lovely? Don't the bride and bridegroom look lovely? There was a documentary on the emperor and the dash of China. There was a documentary on the emperor and the empress of China. Is that a he bear? I thought it was a she bear. Last year, our school had a dash. This year, we will have a headmistress. Last year, our school had a headmaster. Headmaster. This year, we will have a headmistress. The dash and princess of Lithuania are visiting Delhi. The prince and princess. Rewrite the sentences by changing the underlined nouns to their opposite gender. Make other necessary changes as well. So here the nouns are underlined and you have to write the opposite gender of the nouns which are underlined. The tigress and the lioness were in different cages. The tiger and the lion. My father and uncle like to play badminton. My mother and aunt. The mistress summoned the maid servant. The master summoned the servant. The actress autographed the waiter's handkerchief. The actor autographed the waitress's waitresses handkerchief now in waitresses you will put only apostrophe because there is already a s over there so you will only put an apostrophe the girl couldn't believe that she was an heiress the boy couldn't believe that he was a heir h-e-i-r the queen and the princess went for a walk the king and the prince. It will be the king and the prince. Is the sorceress more powerful than the witch? Is the sorcerer more powerful than the wizard? The duke welcomed the baron. The duchess welcomed the baroness. The landlord owns a peacock. The landlady owns a peahen. The opposite of peacock is peahen. 
The bride smiled at her father-in-law. The bridegroom smiled at his mother-in-law. So, these are the uh, examples of gender. All right. So, nouns have four genders. Masculine, feminine, common and neuter. Masculine gender nouns refer to the male persons and animals. Feminine gender nouns refer to the female persons and animals. Common gender refer to both male and female persons and animals. And neuter gender refer to non-living things. So, you will, I'll give you some examples and uh, question answers in the worksheet. You will try to solve them. So, this is all for today. Listen to the video properly while writing down your answers. Thank you.